If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. If taking payment from the customer at the time of sale for a purchase they have made, you enter the transaction into a sales receipt. You can create a sales receipt by selecting Customers, Enter Sales Receipts from the menu bar. In the Enter Sales Receipts screen, you enter information in much the same way that you do within an invoice. Also, as with invoices, you can select which sales receipt template to use by choosing one from the template drop-down available in the upper right corner of the form. Enter the customer's information into the sales receipt either by selecting a customer from the Customer Job drop-down or by manually entering the customer's information into the Sold To field. If manually entering customer data, be sure to enter the customer's sales tax information by using the Customer Tax Code and Tax drop-down at the bottom of the form. Enter the date of the sale by selecting it from the Date field. The Sale Number field will automatically increment itself up to the next available sales receipt number. Then click the button in the upper left corner of the form that corresponds to the method of payment used. If needed, you can click the drop-down arrow in the lower right corner of this button group to view additional payment methods in a drop-down menu. You can then select the additional payment method from this drop-down. For credit debit payments, you can select a credit card type from the payment drop-down and enter the credit card number and expiration date into the card number and expiration date fields shown in the drop-down menu that appears when you click the credit debit payment button. Then click the done button in the drop-down menu to record the credit card information. If they pay by check, then enter the check number into the check number field that appears at the right side of the sales receipt window. Click into the first available row in the line items area and enter the line items for the sales transaction by selecting them from the item column. Enter the quantity and rate, or the amount, for each item as needed. If this receipt is to be printed later, ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. After entering the sales information, then click the Save and Close button to save the sales receipt and close the window. Money received through a sales receipt is deposited into an undeposited funds account by default. There is no receiving payment at a later point in time when using a sales receipt as you have taken the payment up front. You just save and close the screen to enter the sale. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.